What up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth. And today, I'm coming at y'all with my all-time favorite food. Y'all already know what it is. Chick-fil-A. Okay. And, y'all, yes, I got a smoothie up in the building for you, okay? And so, what I got today is still hot, so let me get it while it's hot, hot, hot. Yes, um, I got the large Chick-fil-A fries. I got the Chick-fil-A fries, y'all. And I got my, where my sauce at now? I got my Chick-fil-A sauce. Y'all already know I had to have my Chick-fil-A sauce. And I got this honey, it came with this honey roasted barbecue sauce. I ain't never tried that before because I have the grilled chicken club. Yes, that's what my grilled chicken club looking like today. Put this over here. And y'all, I ain't never had a grilled chicken club before, so I wanted to um, bring it to you guys. Let me put this white box out the way. So my grilled chicken club looked like this. Ooh, it looked a little nice there. Okay, so it's grilled chicken with bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. Um, I don't get cheese because I don't eat cheese, but it does come with cheese just in case you're wondering, girl. So I'm going to take this joker out. And it comes wrapped up in a little brown paper right there. Take this joker out. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully it got the bacon on it. I can't see it from the sides. But... Ooh, let's see. Oh, got some bacon on it. I got to reposition my bacon because I like it to be just right. Okay, y'all. Let me show y'all what it got. Show y'all what it got. Okay, there you go. The bacon on it. And this is the grilled chicken. That's what the grilled chicken look like. And underneath the grilled chicken, what I got? I got a, oh, I got two tomatoes, but they on top of each other. So let me sort them out. And they own a bed of lettuce, okay? And if you watch Dame Drops, you will know that lettuce down there. We call that crunchy water. That's what he call it, crunchy water. And Chick-fil-A um, got this, this is a honey wheat bun or something like that. That's what the bun look like. And it's toasted. And that looks like it's going to be good. I don't know, y'all. So, um, y'all already know, you can't just get nothing at Chick-fil-A without getting the famous waffle fries, okay? And this right here is a smoothie, girl. Um, I had ordered a lemonade from Chick-fil-A. Um, and then I discovered the lemonade had pulp in it. So, I don't like pulp. I'm not a big fan of pulp in my drinks. So, I'm like, I'm not finna drink this by the time I got close to the house. And then I realized, oh, okay, well, I'll just use my smoothie fruit to put in it and add some of the, the pulp, the lemonade with a little bit of water so it won't be too sweet. And I just added all my fruit. So there is peaches in here, mangoes in here, um, not pineapples, what else is on shy? You know, the regular tropical fruit. And then I put strawberries on top, y'all. How y'all like that smoothie, y'all? Look good, don't it? I ain't tasted it yet, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got my little straw, I, I cut, the little, cut the tip off my straw, so. It can fit in my glass. Hopefully, it don't overflow, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, it's about to. Oh, it is about to for real. I got to take this out. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me say my great spot. I thought I'd eat everything because everything looks so delicious, y'all. Okay. <laughs> God is great. God is good. Lord, I thank you for my food. By my hands, you're my best friend. Thank you, Lord, my daily bread. Amen. Amen. Lord, I ask that you bless each and every one person or whoever watching this video lord i ask that you will let them have a great day and let them prosper somewhere in life lord somewhere in life lord so um um lord let me see um yeah let this food be pure and clean and nourishing for my body and let it cause no hurt harm or danger in jesus name i pray amen thank you god thank you god oh i almost knocked my french fry down jesus okay so i got the large waffle fries y'all and i'm about to go in i got the chick-fil-a sauce this is the two sauces that i got and i usually i love putting the chick-fil-a sauce on my fries that's like the best thing since sliced bread chick-fil-a sauce and i don't know what kind of i ain't never had this sauce here but it comes with the sandwich honey roasted barbecue sauce here and i don't know why they only gave me one they already know you know what's supposed to be needing two three four of them sauces y'all mm -hmm. They playing. They playing my feelings. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this straw in. I done said my little gray, so I guess I can get me a little silk. Get in there. Mmm. Ooh. And 
Now this is what you call a smoothie, baby. Mm, mm, I need to stir it up a little bit. Okay. Mm. So, so good, y'all. So, 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 so good. If I can show y'all what it looked like in the top, it looks delicious. It is delicious. Mmm. Peaches, mangoes, and I think, is it papaya? Chai? I forgot what the third fruit is, but it's three fruits. And then I topped it with strawberries, y'all. So I'm going to try this honey roasted barbecue sauce. I ain't even know they had honey roasted barbecue sauce. I ain't even know they had it, but let me open my package here. I don't want to hurt myself, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to try some of this sauce. Put it on my bun like that. Ooh. I guess I'm going to eat the whole thing. Yeah, because I'm a, I like... I don't like my sandwich to be dry. And I love the fact that Chick-fil-A don't put nothing on these sandwiches as far as, you know, like ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I like that they let me make my own choice. Because I ain't got to say no mustard, no mayo, no this, no that. They don't put nothing on that. They just say get it yourself and do it how you want. Thank you. Thank you, Chick-fil-A. So, got my sauce on that sandwich. Oh, let me, let me dip in my fries first, y'all. Get the little baby fry down here. Mmm. Put that up there. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, them fries good. How y'all doing out there today, y'all? How is y'all doing? Oh my gosh. You can't go wrong with Chick fil A fries, especially when they hot. Now, when they get cold, that's another story. That's another story. I ain't got time because they get cold and they're not good no more. And I think that's the same with all fries. Once they get cold, mm mm. Mm. I'm so glad my food's still warm. Mini cup. Mm -mm. <laughs> Always in my way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. But y'all need to try that. That's kind of good. And I got the grilled one, y'all, this time. I didn't get the regular Chick-fil-A sandwich. I didn't get nothing fried but the french fries. I had to have them. I had to have them. So, it's still kind for some, y'all. <laughs> this Chick-fil-A sauce is the business, okay? If you don't like Chick-fil-A sauce, man, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, like it's a big old burger. I made a chicken sandwich. Did I call this a burger already? Chicken sandwich. Look how big it is, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. I might can't eat the whole thing, but I'm going to try. I wish I would have got it cut in half. Mm. Mm. Okay, real. There's some good white meat chicken breast in there. Mm. Move my thing. My my tail be trying to move. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I watch a lot of Steve Harvey, y'all. I love Steve Harvey. I love Steve Harvey. I, it's a lot of people that don't like him, you know? A lot of people don't like him, but... Whatever he got going on in his personal life, I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> so, I always be watching his Ask Steve videos when they pop up. So. I feel, since I always be answering the question, when I be watching his videos, I always be answering the questions for him. And he... Cause sometimes he be giving crazy answers, and I be like, Are "You sure about that, Steve?" And sometimes he's so crazy he don't even get answers at all. He end up making fun of the people, laughing at something about something he did a long time ago, and then it, it totally ignored the question altogether. Like I'm like, "Come on, Steve, you just made them feel bad." But they gotta understand Steve Pops is a comedian, so you get what you gonna get.
If you're gonna ask them something, you better think twice. So today on there, I was watching. I was watching. I forgot. Let me see. Today, not too long ago, I just have. I was on YouTube and I watched where this lady, she got a, a jealous friend. I don't think this was today's episode, but it was just something I was watching through today. Um, she got a jealous friend. And the jealous friend is a dude, right? So she gonna ask Jeep how could she let her friend, you know, make her friend to not be jealous in... You know, when other guys come around, her friend is a guy, right? When other guys come around, she want to know how can Steve help her? Any guy, he, do he got any suggestions to make this guy stop being jealous? And um, Steve asked her, you know, what kind of friend is it? And then he was a male friend, you know. And then turned out they used to date, so that's her ex. So I don't know why she referred to him as her friend. He said, what made you break, what made y'all break up in the first place? And she said, because he was jealous. And, okay, cool. It's, it's plenty of men that's jealous. My husband got a little touch. But, um, the way she described this man, like, she was like, we, we broke up because we was jealous. He was jealous. He used to come to the beauty salon and sit out there in the parking lot and watch me into the laundromat and watch me. I'm like... That's beyond jealous. Yeah, that's a little crazy. And I don't know why I didn't Steve Harvey didn't let her know that, hey, you you need to get away from this dude, you know. But he said, I hope he gets you and that's that man that love you. And then he started talking about songs and old sunshine when he gone. And I'm like, Steve Harvey, are you for serious? <laughs> if you got a man or your ex and he comes to your salon when you getting your hair done he sit outside in the parking lot just to watch you to see if you there and when you go get your nails done and he sit outside in the parking lot to see if you there like checking up on her when she drove her own car and he got his own vehicle and they ain't even together girl you better run you better have the police on speed now just in case Steve Harvey told her she need to get him back, see if they can get back together. She, I was like, what, Steve? You not lost your mind? Did you not hear this woman say that this man was stalking her? Following somebody to the house, to the house shop and sitting in the parking lot like, nigga, that's weird. That's weird. I don't care what nobody else say. I say, Lord, Steve Harvey giving this woman advice. And then he talked. He spoke to the camera. He done boosted the dude up. <laughs> so I'm like, I hope you get him. Keep on trying. And I'm like, oh no. I said, I hope they don't end up on the news messing around with Steve Harvey. Gonna take his advice. And I and she really sounded like she didn't want to be with him. But at the same time, why is she hanging out with dude? Is she scared of him or something? If they're not together no more, why is she still hanging out with him? That's what I'm wondering. Like, why are you still hanging out with somebody who was jealous? I'm just talking about when they be out together, um, other dudes will walk by and he'll grab her and put his arms around her like they together. I'm like, baby, y'all together. If you got him out with you in public, he grab you and put his arms around you, y'all together. Honey, I ain't got no ex right now. on the face of this earth that I'm finna go out with. I'm not finna go out with you. I'm, I don't care. Especially if you was a jealous one. We're not friends. We're not nothing. She called him her friend. Mm -mm. He signed he very possessive. And Steve talking about you the most beautiful woman in the world to him. You need to keep trying. I'm like Steve you sometimes you just ain't bright. You just ain't bright sometimes, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a bad, terrible answer. So we'll get the lady killed. Oh, I pray that she be all right. Pull my fire out. I guess it's a little better with sitting in the box, so yeah, whatever. But that was some crazy advice. Y'all, what y'all think? Tell me down in the comment section. 
how y'all feel about that? Cause that is that that sound weird to me. Do that sound weird to y'all? That sound really really weird to me. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I can get jiggy with that. Oh my lettuce. Oh my lettuce. Jesus, I gotta flip it upside down and get my lettuce off. Come on, lettuce. Come on. I'm still in the show. My lettuce trying to jump off my burger. My my chicken sandwich. I always call this thing a burger. I know what it is, y'all. Let me get me a good old bite up in now. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. So yeah, I'm enjoying his segments. I'm gonna give me something to talk about too, y'all. Come. I watch them other channels that be talking about folk business. I watch them all the time. All them gossip channels like um, tea and expressive or whatever they call it. Mostly tea. Lovely tea. I watch them. I watch her channel. Especially when she got some juicy gossip because she be getting all the receipts. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This thing good. Lord have mercy. Mmm. Mmm. That was that salad crunching up in there, y'all. Wow. Do y'all watch Instagram? Uh, honey. I don't know. Just hilarious. I didn't know she was with um Country Wayne until like Valentine's Day and then my daughter was like, Mama, they're together. I'm like, they're together. They gotta be they gotta be a joke because they both like little comedians or whatever. They just showed me a picture with them and yeah, I said, nah, that's a joke. And then come to find out, it's not a joke. It's not a freaking joke. They actually was together and I'm like, why? Country Wayne was like a good dude. But he got about nine or ten children, honey. Ain't no way. You is not. Mm -mm. You is not fit to be with me. I'm sorry. I already got four. <laughs> but she only got one little kid and she doing good. She just made it to the TV show or TV screen or whatever. And it's with Country Wayne. Even though he doing good or whatever. But sis, that don't, don't go together though. Not to me. Happy for you though. I'm trying to smile for you, but I guess. And then with some big drama, she don't always have drama. As long as she got him, because you can tell he a player player from the Himalayas with nine, ten. I don't know if it was nine or ten children, but it's a whole football team. So I'm like, dude. She got one little baby. And she just hit it big, and you know, on TV and everything. She got she on that little show called Real, you know. Chill out, man. All these, all these other single dudes around here. I don't say he's no bad person, but if he was gonna get somebody, he should have got somebody he could connect it on with and got the braided bunch. But who am I to talk? I got two to myself, and my husband ain't got none. But that ain't my fault. <laughs> But this ain't about me. Yeah, but I already knew that was gonna be trouble. Because he just had it. The baby is a baby. Like, that ain't even over yet. Not for real, for real. And he was just in the video with her with his family and all the kids. I'm like, wait a minute. He was I just see him at the house. With the baby mama and the children and all that. But whatever. But child, I'm so glad I ain't gonna lose no sleep over that, honey. <laughs> Y'all, this chicken club sandwich is pretty good. Make sure you get cheese if you eat cheese, because it feels like it's kind of missing something. And that's cheese, y'all. I know it's missing something. Mmm. This smoothie, Lord, have mercy.
I'm about to be the smoothie queen around here. Oh boy, that's the best drink I done had for in a while. Whew. I'm gonna give this box up out here because it's really aggra aggravating me. I'm running low on food. So what do y'all think about that situation, y'all? What do y'all think about it? Y'all comment down below and let me know so we can talk. I'll be with y'all in the comment section. And, um, I told y'all I was going to be making my mukbang shorter, so even if I don't finish my food or not, cutting it off. Well, I ain't got all day to be editing a little bit. I'm going on. So, I'm going to eat the rest of this off camera. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I'll chop it up in the comment section down below with y'all. And that's all I got to say in this video. <laughs> And I want to holler at y'all later. Bye.